I got a trap that the coyote, there's a coyote that keeps marking it, and I don't know why. He's either marking it to show where he knows that there's a trap, or he's marking it to make sure it's his problem. And it, it might be a female. It looks like the coyote that I have on picture is squatting and peeing, so might be a female, I don't know. My other trap that is set up over here, nothing's going on with it. I marked it with a little bit of, uh, oh, what the, like white lightning or something like that, I don't remember. Oh, got a little couple taps there. But I don't know what's going on with it. Um, the other one though, I've got pictures, it's in front of the camera, so I've got pictures of a coyote. I keep seeing the same coyote, I'm pretty sure it's the same coyote, but nothing, nothing's grabbing a hold. I've got pictures of like three different coyotes, two, two or three coyotes. One definitely is the same one, but I don't, I don't know what to do. If any of you guys have any experience in trapping, let me know because I've yet to get a coyote. I've gotten plenty of raccoons, but this coyote, these coyotes are eluding me. It's getting aggravating. By no means am I planning on quitting. It's just frustrating. And I am new, so I understand that. So right now I'm doing a little bit of fishing. Probably not gonna spend a whole lot of time out here. I got to work tonight and I work overnight so I got a minnow out there I have yet to try minnows out here and the last few days I've been out here with the crabby magnet nothing's hitting so let's see what a minnow will do if anything it's got a little bite right there see I, I think the crappie are spawning I think they're down down deep closer I get to the the bank there's nothing going on I cast out there and it goes to the bottom and I get a couple nibbles they're light nibbles so it's either a bluegill or a crappie for sure ain't no bass maybe I'll piss off whatever it is that's nibbling on it and it will actually take it I just want a couple today I've got quite a bit of fish at home just want a couple First time, first time trying minnows out here too. I think it was another little bite right there. First time trying minnows out here, and so far I ain't had one bite on it. But I think the I think the crappie are spawning in here, and that's why they're not biting. And if it is crappie that's nibbling on this, I think it's just to scare whatever off. Oh, I got one that time. Feels pretty good. Crappie. I don't know, it might be a bit. That's a largemouth. Little largemouth. So that's cool. These largemouth are just really healthy, man. That's a good little largemouth. Uh oh, just saw the bobber go down a little bit. Oh, something's, something's got it. I think something's got it. Yep, something's on it. Not exactly sure what it is yet. Maybe a little crappie, decent sized crappie. Keep her. I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Sneed. Oh, he was barely hooked, too. Oh, I got a couple lures in here. I don't want those in here. He's not a 
huge crappie, but he's a crappie. All right, so what I'm using for minnows is I got a couple different sizes. I got some really big minnows and I've got some small minnows. See, here's one of the bigger minnows. Oh, and I'm hooking them kind of behind the, the dorsal fin. So that way they stay alive for a little while and they swim around. I don't know if I, yeah, he's hooked pretty good. Get that scale off of there. Like I said, I've only got him about, I don't know, three, uh, I said four, but I think he's only about three foot deep. So, yeah, he's two and a half, three foot deep. So, I think this is going to be the easiest to gauge where these crappie are at if I get another one on there. He didn't hit it very hard either. He just kind of swam off with it a little bit. Uh, my, my minnow's not even on there. Minnow's not even on there. I must have flipped it off. Man, the more I look at that crappie, the smaller it looks. No, oh, I mean, he's a keeper by state standard, but... Definitely lively. I'm trying to make sure I got all the scales off of it. Okay. I'm gonna go just a little bit deeper. That might be pushing it right there. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, oh there it is. Bobber standing up. Okay, so it's all the way down. No, I don't know about all the way down to the bottom, but... In full probably seven foot eight foot This thing's going like straight down and I got it out there. Oh, man, it's it it is pretty deep out there. One more cast and I'm gonna change it up again. Got a tap there. God dang, that wind is cold. That wind is cold. Warm up the hand that I've been sticking in the water. I don't know, 
I think something might be hitting the bobber now. That could be the waves though. There we go. See, first cast with it. Got something. Feels nice too. Feels real nice. What is this? Bring him over here. He's swimming kind of weird. Well, whatever it is, he's a nice size. Oh, big old crappie. Big old crappie. Yeah, he's definitely a keeper crappie. So he went right back to that crappie magnet. First cast with it. That's what I got. That's a nice crappie right there. One or two more of those and I'm done. Probably bird flipping leaves. Yep, that's what it is. Okay, bobber's gone. The bobber's gone. <laughs> Feels all right. I knew I should have. Yep, yeah, it's a good one too, whatever it is. Oh, it looks like another good crappie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I knew it. I knew it. I'm glad I moved it over there. That's a big crappie. That is a big crappie, guys. Yes. Hell yeah. Something. Something. Hit it on the way down. Feels kind of like a bluegill. Yep. Big old bluegill. All right, guys, just got back from fishing and uh, got a few nice ones, a couple nice ones anyway. Go ahead and get some measurements on it. Again, I forgot my tape, but all right. So we got one at oh, nine and a half, almost 10 inches. And then got this lively one back here. He is gonna be about the same, about 10 inches. And then we have one that he don't like the tape measure in his face. But uh, this one, he is looking at 13 inches. There's one there. Pretty close to 13 inches anyway. And then another one over here. He is about 11 and a half. So not a bad day of, not a bad day of fishing, but uh, we'll clean those guys out and uh, probably have them for dinner tonight. All right, appreciate you watching guys.